Formatting a pricing file for CFS. Pricing for CFS can be handled in one of four ways. One, prices can be altered manually. Two, a discount or multiplier can be applied to the distributed price. Three, a pricing app can gather real-time pricing from the web. Or four, running a pricing file through CFS. The way that pricing is handled depends on the manufacturer. For example, Merchants Metals, BuffTech, and Ameristar all use pricing apps. Jameson and Sharon Fence use pricing files. Alumagard and Active Yards use multipliers or discounts. In this video, we'll review how to format a pricing file so that it can be quickly loaded into your CFS program. First, you'll need to obtain your pricing file from your regional distributor. These typically arrive as an Excel file and may include two or more columns. Once you have received your pricing file, you'll want to make sure that it is properly formatted. If you open the file and it only has two columns without any column headers, then there is a very good chance that it is already properly formatted. Just make sure that the file has been saved as a CSV comma delimited file and you should be able to run it. If the file has more than two columns or includes headers, spaces, or commas, then you'll need to format the file. Here are all of the steps for formatting a pricing file. Now let's run through these steps with an actual file. If you received the file in an email, you'll want to save it to your computer. Then delete all columns except for the part number and the price. Click at the top of the column to select it, then right click and select Delete. Delete all column headers. Click row 1 to select it, right click and select Delete. Now we'll search for spaces and replace them with nothing. In the upper right hand corner, click Find and Select. In the drop down menu, choose Replace. Then enter a single space here in the Find What search bar. And leave the Replace With search bar completely empty. Click Replace All. You should receive a message telling you if any replacements were made. Format column B with four decimal spaces and no commas. This time we'll want to highlight column B by clicking at the top of the column. Right-click the column and choose Format Cells. Choose the number category. Then change the decimal places to four. Make sure that this box for comma separators is unchecked. Click OK. Now if you are running a pricing file for Master Halco source numbers, you'll also need to format column A with six zeros. Highlight column A by clicking at the top of the column. Right-click the column and choose Format Cells. This time, choose the Custom category. In the Type box, enter in six zeros, then click OK. Now your pricing file is ready to save. Click on File and Save As. Browse to a convenient location for finding your file. I like to save pricing files to my desktop or documents folder. Check the Save As type bar to make sure that the file is saved as a CSV, comma delimited file. You'll also want to make sure that the file name isn't too long or has odd characters. I'll name this one Master Halco Pricing File. Now the pricing file is ready to run through CFS. Some vendors will send pricing files that are all ready to go with no additional formatting necessary. 
However, when you do receive an unformatted pricing file, it is nice to be able to fix it by yourself. Again, you should be able to obtain these pricing files from your distributor. Companies currently using pricing files include Jameson, Master Halco, Sharon, and Stevens Pipe and Steel. For assistance running pricing files, please check our other tutorial, CFS How to Run a Pricing File, which we'll link in the description area.